So here we have a question where you have a boat which is getting pulled by three different forces acting in three different directions. So you have one force of 170 Newton, another of 220 Newton, and they've given a third force which is unknown, which is F3. Now they've also given angle of two of the forces. This one is 47 degree and F3 of course is a vertical force acting in the downward direction. Now what they want to know is what is angle theta and what is force F3 if the boat is stationary, that is, it is not moving. So the best way of approaching these problems is first to split various vectors into the X and Y components. So let's go ahead and first split F1 into its X and Y component. So here you have F1 which has an X component and its magnitude would be F1 cos theta. Then you have its y component which would be this and its magnitude would be f1 sine theta. Likewise, the x component of force f2 would be this which would be f2 cos 47 and then you have its y component which would be this and this would be f2 sine 47. Of course, you can see force F3 is acting downwards. So we can say, if you want to put it in vector notation, you will say it only has Y component and will be minus F3. Now, once you have split each force into its respective components, what you need to realize is that since the boat is stationary, it means the net force acting on it in X direction should be zero because if there was some force acting in any of the x directions either towards the left or towards the right the boat would have started moving the fact it is not moving means all the forces put together the net force is zero likewise you also got to realize that the boat is not moving up or down it's it's right there on the water and that kind of tells us that the sum of the vertical components should also be zero so let's go ahead and sum up all the X components that are acting on this boat. And we can see you basically have two forces in X direction, which are this and this. So let's go ahead and add up these two forces. What you'll get is F1 cos theta minus F2 cos 47 should equal to zero. Now mind it, this F2 cos 47 you've taken over here is the absolute value. So it's it would be appropriate to put a sign next to it so that it indicates that the vector is in the left direction. In fact, let's go ahead and mark these vectors also. So you have this as the X component. You have this as the Y component of force F1. You have this as the X component of force F2 and this is the y component of force f2 and likewise you can sum up all the forces acting in the y direction as well and you can see that there are three forces acting in the y direction one is this the other is this and the third is this so let's go ahead and sum up these forces so you have f2 sine 47 in the upward direction plus f1 sine theta again in the upward direction and you have force F3 which is acting in the downward direction. So we'll write it as minus F3 and this should equal zero again because there's the net force in the Y direction is also zero. So basically what you've done is you form two equations, one in the X direction, utilizing all the forces acting in the X direction, which is this and another equation, which is the sum of the forces acting in the y direction and let's call this equation 2. So now let's go ahead and substitute the values of f1, f2 and f3, the ones which are known, f3 is not known and we'll find the value of f3 by solving these two equations. So what we get is 170 cos theta minus 220 cos 47 should equal 0 from equation 1 which therefore means if you solve for theta what you get is cos theta is equal to 220 cos 47 divided by 170 and if you take the inverse of 
cos of this value what you get is theta is equal to 28 degrees so this is equal to 28 degrees now we'll solve for the second equation because now we have the theta value and in second equation we again substitute the values what we get is 220 sine 47 plus 170 sine theta and we now know that theta is equal to 28 degrees so we'll put the value 28 minus f3 should equal 0 and therefore f3 is equal to 220 sine 47 plus 170 sine 28 and if you calculate this by taking the respective sine values of 47 and 28 degrees what you get is f3 is equal to about 240 newton so what we can conclude is that if the three forces are 170 newton 220 newton and 240 newton and f1 is at an angle of 28 degrees then the summation of the forces would be zero and if these forces are pulling a boat or any object the object will remain stationary